these nations, pair by pair, to participate with the gold token are going to have to come up with some gold depositories in order to buy tokens. And, and the tokens cannot be easily attacked. They're going to be priced relative to the gold price. So it's going to be a backdoor impetus for lifting the gold price. There's going to be demand to buy gold for these nations depositories. And that will be demand for gold, demand, demand for the gold. The BRICS group of major emerging economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, will hold its 15th Heads of State and Government Summit in Johannesburg from August 22nd to 24. The potential introduction of a gold-backed BRICS currency currently under development has prompted the bloc's five member nations to accumulate gold reserves actively. Over the past 18 months, the BRICS countries have significantly increased their gold purchases to reduce reliance on the U.S. dollar. Jim Willie expresses excitement about an upcoming BRICS meeting in South Africa. He suggests that these nations have likely been safeguarding their interests against potential disruptions, including financial attacks. Willie believes the BRICS nations are preparing to participate in a gold token system. This system would involve the establishment of gold depositories by these nations to acquire tokens. The tokens would resist attacks and their value would be tied to the price of gold. This could create a demand for gold and potentially lead to an increase in its price. Willie speculates that the BRICS nations might only delay its extensive adoption once there's a notable deterioration in the US dollar's strength, particularly concerning elements like banking structures, treasury bonds, and government debt. He points out the recent deliberation over the US government's debt limit extension might indicate a hidden default or financial instability. The shift towards gold as a backing for the BRICS currency presents a potential threat to the position of the U.S. dollar, as gold could replace the dollar as collateral. The BRICS alliance may increasingly rely on gold and eventually eliminate dependence on the U.S. dollar. Now let's watch excerpts from Jim Willie's interview with Arcadia Economics. Be sure to watch the entire video and consider subscribing to our channel. Remember to enable post notifications to stay updated on our latest uploads. Thank you and enjoy the video. I'm excited by the meeting coming up in Johannesburg, well, in Durban, in South Africa. I'm excited, Chris, because it means they're going to be moving forward. They're not going to tell us everything they do. You know, in a military operation, you don't tell them what people, what you're doing. And, and I think the BRICS have been dealing with defense toward infiltration. They've been dealing with defense toward bribery. And they've been dealing with maybe some individual attacks toward assassination in order to have the King Dollar defended for continuation. This is very ugly time. Um, I don't mind that the BRICs are quiet about their plans. <clears throat> I do have an opinion, though, that some people won't find very comforting. <clears throat> I think they're going to delay and delay in widespread usage of their gold token until the U.S. dollar structures falter and break down on a much greater basis. I'm referring to the banks, the Treasury bond, and the U.S. government debt. By the way, I'll just throw some out, something out there. <clears throat> it was about a three-week deliberation for the debt limit extension, the U.S. government. And I think that's because behind closed doors, they were told we've already had a default. We're managing a default because notice that they did not increase the ceiling. They said that we can adjust the ceiling to whatever is necessary. In other words, unlimited debt. There is no ceiling. Right. We are living in a Frankenstein economy as far as U.S. government is concerned. And I had a lot of questions like, um, is it going to be a currency or is it going to be a gold token? Uh, is it going to be both? Um, how many nations will participate? Will it have a, a you know, a, an initial launch? Um, what do you call it? Pilot program? Um, will they have some kind of a, of, of a debt? Or will they stick with like the import export development bank concept? I have a lot of questions. And um, what I learned was a big fat nothing burger. Um, we were told that they had 46 billion in new contracts with 23 countries and Africa was a participant. And we were told that there, there was no description or definitive information on their BRICS currency. In the following weeks, we were told in June that it was more likely to be a gold token than a gold-backed currency. Countries that have 
an enormous pile of treasury bonds and euro bonds are going to be selling them in order to buy gold and build up their gold depository in order to use gold tokens. <clears throat> I just heard that the, there was a proposal. It's, flo it's floating around. Chris, you know, I cannot say, well, here's exactly where that rumor story came from. I can't. We're, we're in vague territory everywhere. I'm told that there's a plan to make a $55 gold token. Now, to me, that's about a gram. I'm, I'm not sure. $55 multiplied by 30. I think it's even less than a gram. <clears throat> okay, whatever. <clears throat> they want the gold token to be at a low price and not in the thousands. Okay, I get that. But these countries, one after the other, who are signed up for the BRICS, let's call it union. I'm not even sure what they are. They're a conglomerate, they're a consortium, they're a group. Call it a union. These nations, pair by pair. Willie suggests a concerted effort by multiple nations to establish decentralized gold depositories, creating what he terms a multipolar gold market. These gold depositories aim to facilitate countries' participation in a gold token system. While the exact sources of gold for these depositories are still being determined, he speculates that Russia, China, Iran, Persia, Saudi Arabia, and other nations might contribute significant amounts of gold. China purchased 21 tons of gold to its reserves in June 2023. Moreover, the central banks of the BRICS countries are the top buyers of gold this year, indicating that the alliance could be using the precious metal as backing for a new currency. According to the renowned analyst, a coalition of nations might demand gold compensation for any haircuts on U.S. Treasury bond redemptions. He predicts that if the United States refuses, it could face economic sanctions or boycotts from multiple nations, echoing the pattern of economic sanctions it has often imposed. Let's get back to the interview. In order to build up the gold depositories in many different nations, they have let it be known that it's going to be a multipolar. And to use crypto vernacular, it's, it's going to be a uh, decentralized formula, a decentralized structure. And I, I translate that to mean a multipolar gold market. Okay, I've rattled off cities in the past, and I'll do it again. Uh, Johannesburg, Istanbul, Singapore, Dubai, Shanghai, Sydney, Australia, London, Geneva, maybe Toronto, New York. All these places, St. Saint Peter, Petersburg, Russia, Moscow, Shanghai. I don't know if I mentioned Shanghai. So what if I double, doubled up? So what? I don't want to miss anything. Um, <clears throat> These are to be considered your multipolar gold market windows. And as these nations build up their gold depositories in order to participate with the gold token, we don't know where they're going to get their gold. I believe a great deal of gold is going to come from Russia, China, Persia, Saudis, and one more. And the last one is going to be by force, by force with direct threat, with promises of rogue nation isolation. And that fifth location, for gold provision, will be the United States. Hmm. We are going to be told by some nations, you can try your games on U.S. Treasury bond redemption, and you can try your haircut. I've, I've, I'm told we've already doing haircuts on bond redemption for U.S. Treasuries. That is tantamount to default. I am of the belief that many nations are going to gang up and say, we're not going to tolerate the haircut. We want the haircut compensated by gold. We'll take local South Korean yuan currency in a, in a dollar swap, but we want a portion like 10%, 20%, maybe more, in gold. And if the United States doesn't do it, they're going to be boycotted. We're not going to have any imports from a lot of different countries that do essentially an economic sanction against us. And remember, of all the economic sanctions in the last 30 years, over 95% of them have been from the United States. Now they're going to be two 
the United States. Okay, where am I leading with all this, Chris? I believe we're going to see evidence in the multipolar gold windows, evidence of different prices <clears throat> that do not match London and New York COMEX. And it's gonna come like out of left field. As uncertainty surrounding the US dollar's future lingers, the rise of a gold-backed BRICS currency could pave the way for a future where the world's financial center of gravity evolves beyond traditional boundaries. Could the increase of a gold-backed currency among BRICS nations signal a significant shift in the global economic landscape? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you found this video informative, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and enable notifications to stay informed about our latest videos on silver, gold, and copper. Thank you for watching, and we appreciate your support.